Well, let's shoot it over to Melissa now. And, you know, last week you were gone. You can't believe how much it rained while you were gone. It was <laughs> Tell me it rained, it hailed. I think yeah. you mentioned that it snowed at one point. <laughs> so she I didn't fall for it. No, didn't fall. I wasn't that far away either. So I kind of was able to see what was going on here. But uh, we've just continued to see fantastic weather. We did manage to get one one hundredth of an inch of rainfall on Friday. And that was the first time in 50 days that we had seen any rain. Definitely no rain yesterday. 89 was the high temperature here in Eugene. 87 in Corvallis. Head down south into Roseburg. Another day in the 90s, upper 90s when you get down into Medford. Uh, and you don't have to head inland to find 90 degrees. The coast, uh, believe it or not, got up to 92 degrees in Brookings. It's a rare anomaly that we have here in Oregon. You get offshore winds uh, in Brookings can easily warm up uh, under this type of weather pattern. Not uh, bad in North Bend either. It's 72 degrees there. Head over to Central and Eastern Oregon. Uh, most folks getting back into the low, if not mid uh, to upper 90s. Now that high that we saw of 89, it wasn't 90, but it's still six above average for this time of year. The record 101, that was just set back in 2009, a hot summer that year. No rainfall in that deficit now at 16 inches below average for this point in 2013. Again, continues to be the driest start to a year that we have ever recorded. Now we are waking up to mostly clear skies this morning. A little bit of patchy fog and some low clouds uh, trying to develop there along the coast. Anything that's there isn't going to last for long today. Very similar to what we saw yesterday. Starting out at about 57 degrees out the airport. Uh, and notice how far down the dew point is, all the way to 49. That's an indication uh, of some dry air, uh, drier air than what we saw yesterday. Uh, and that's in part due to these winds from the north that are up to about 10 miles this morning. Uh, obviously seeing that full 10 mile visibility. So here's what's going on. Jet streams up to the north of us. Anytime time just streams north we're typically uh, going to be a little bit warmer than average high pressures in control that's also keeping our skies clear but notice this area of low pressure here along with some clouds and thunder showers that's pushed into the bay area now pushing up into northern california that is going to impact our weather here later in the week by wednesday that'll be over the lane county cascades so today sunny warm conditions continue but starting thursday continuing all the way through the weekend it's going to be cooler it's going to be cloudier and we are going to see those mountain thunderstorms start to fire up again still not much to write home about but definitely a change uh, from what we're seeing here in the first half of the week Here's a look at Precision Cast. Again, our computer model. Let's just look out into the future. Again, not much going on today. We start to see that first wave of moisture moving in later tonight. Uh, basically, that'll bring in some high clouds for us here uh, across Western Oregon. By Wednesday, that's the first sign of some thunder showers over the Southern Oregon Cascades. Uh, those will push north overnight. We'll see those firing up again Thursday. Could even see some of that cloud cover and some light rain possible here in the valley, similar to what we saw last Friday. So for the coast, highs will be in the upper 60s and low 70s, sunny, breezy. Those winds will be up to about 35 miles per hour. Upper 60s Wednesday, Thursday, mid 60s as we head into the weekend. Again, it is going to cloud up. That marine layer will reinforce and you could see a little bit of drizzle there uh, here over the weekend. The Umpqua Basin, upper 80s and low 90s for you. Sunny, warm conditions, they're sticking with us. Mid 90s Wednesday, you'll get back down into the mid 80s by this weekend. Mid 70s up at the Cascade passes today mid 80s in central Oregon two more days before those thunder showers begin to fire up and for the valley upper 80s for us maybe even 90 in Cottage Grove sunny warm conditions sticking with us through Thursday we'll get up to about 91 on Wednesday and then we settle back down into the low 80s this weekend